What's going on everybody? This is TGA. We're in Leicester today. Don't know what's going on with this uh, gimbal again. We have to sort of sort it out. Does it look still to you? So yeah, we're at um, Tiger's Place, which is uh, the DVSA is literally, the driving test center is opposite as well. And this is the uh, covert, as I found out now, it's the covert operation space for Leicestershire Police. The property is, uh, current, is owned by the Police and Crime Commission. From looking on the, what was it, the, not property assets, oh. So somebody coming in now. Yeah. They're going to wait for the gate to close. So somebody's coming in already. So I think we're going to get the drone up as well here. Yeah? Just like AYF, but it's better that we've come here knowing what this is, who it's owned by, to be able to use this. It's a police car there, look. It's so often you just see a police car parked up inside a, uh, a military barracks, and this is a big one with a Ministry of Defence police car, see? So. I think people around this area, around Wigston, know this is uh, police related, this building. So a lot of people going in the test centre. So uh, I think we're going to switch to GoPro. And we're going to get a few aerial shots. Um, trouble is at the minute, is this wind. Oh, so they've turned around at the end of the road. There's a lot of people doing their driving tests. I got a massive a bag with a massive tripod attached to it. <laughs> Haven't seen anyone else come in or out yet. Of uh, Tiger's Place. Those people driving down this road though, look how busy it is. Another person coming in. Hello there. Go out there onto the pavement. I can, I can stand here if I want to. Not this bit, this bit's private. It's publicly accessible. Who are you? Who's asking? Uh, Who's asking? So I, know, I know who owns this building, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Leicester. Do they? Yeah, I've checked, I've checked that out. So, I've checked that out, I'm aware. Don't, don't try and be all cloak and dagger on me. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Oh, they put a restriction in place for that barber now. It shows it's going to be opening soon. cars in the, in the car park. There's a few vans down there. Zoom into that. It's got like all these blue garages and stuff. cars back there look they're all blacked out windows and things like that all right we got 
vehicles down there in the garages behind the back. There's my drone. So we're near there. They've actually put a flight restriction in place for the Glen Palmer Prison site now. back a little bit. Glen Parva, but you can't. They put the uh, restriction in place now. Oh, friends, I should I should have brought some sunglasses, man. Oh, my eyes. Glen Palmer Prison down there, we're going to have a check on that. Uh, just going to stop the recording. Uh, someone's coming. There they go. Oh, they didn't even wait for the gates to close. That was a smart move, wasn't it? There's a guy wandering over there. Move my bag in a minute. Hello. <laughs> Oh, somebody else is turning in here, are they? Hello. Hello there. Should be stuck out a bit, shouldn't it? Make it easier for you to tap your pass. Someone else is coming out. I can see my bag. So, as he comes, he's going to wait for the gate to close. No, it's a load of people coming out here. They're not waiting for the gate to close. That's a security risk, surely. Yeah. Look at this guy. Hey, he's waiting for the gate to close. Brilliant. It's not that difficult, unlike some people who just fly in or fly out. Ah, mad. So I'm gonna grab my bag. Somebody's gonna damage my bag coming out of uh, Glen Parver otherwise, aren't they? Ah, oh, look at that, my strap's all, my strap from my bloody, uh... so, just have a look at that bike a minute, I'm going to get some photos in a minute, let's have my drone in the air, I think we're going to check out the DVSA, and then we're going to get some, 
and Glen Parva and get some nice photos. So they're coming from Glen Parva over there. It's quite busy, Tiger's Place, isn't it? So this is the DVSA, let's see where they're going. Take a look at this bike a minute. That's sick. Look at that. That's sick. See, I gotta get some photos of that. That's awesome, that bike. Look at that. Ah, not often you see something like that, is it? All right. Hey, mate. Hey, uh, can I help? No, you're not allowed to film it here. I was just getting some photos of the bike. For the bike? What for? Why are you, why are you filming me? Because it looks quite interesting, that's why. Turn it, turn it away. Please don't film in here, all right? Okay, walk away then, because I'm going to... I was just okay. getting some photos of the bike. Oi! Just getting some photos of the bike and then I was going. You You've delayed me. Please. You're interfering with my test. Right. The longer the longer you're Excuse the longer you the longer you're interacting with me, the longer you're interacting with me, the longer I'm gonna be. The longer I'm gonna be. Uh, say please and I might. Say please. Say please. Rude. Gonna be so rude. Can you, please, that, that, that's the magic word, that's all it took. That's all it took. Thank you. How long does it take for people to say please these days? So rude. <sighs> Map it. What a sausage that guy was. What a sausage. So we're back at Tiger's place. We're gonna have a little walk down to uh, Glen Parva Prison now. I think I'm gonna make this a three in one. So Tiger's place, um, Glen Parva Prison, and the DVSA test center. Rude, absolutely rude guy. What a rude guy. So let's check out Glen Parva Prison's construction. I think this is supposed to be open at HMP Glen Parva. I haven't seen anyone else coming out of Tiger's Place. So we're gonna have a little wander. Now what's the magic word? And they won't even say it. They won't even say please. So rude. So this guy's for Glen Parva, I think, who's on the phone. So I'm going to check out with Glen Parva Prison. See, it's all one video. Might split it up into next, so just in case I'll say what is going on, everybody. This is TGA. And uh, today we're at the Glen Parva Prison construction site, HMP Glen Parva. So now they have actually implemented on the, on the DGI app the flight restriction zone for Glen Parva. So it shows us nearing the end of its construction. Oh, is that the guy who assaulted my mate? Yeah. Oh, yeah mate, it's all right. I saw. Hey, you're the guy from my friend's video. <laughs> all right, boss. Um, now, mm -hmm. just so you're aware, have you got a camera on you? Yeah. Can I borrow your camera? I'll bear with me two seconds. No worries. No worries. Yeah. No worries. Uh, that's all in that, yeah. Come on, boss. I'm going to start asking you love for commission, man. <laughs> yeah. Right, there we are. So my name's Adam. I work for Wilson James. My camera is now on. Thank right. you, Adam. Right. Nice right. to meet you. What's your name? Or oh, what do you go as? TGA. TGA, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Adam. So. We've done this a few times now with the other lads. So 
you can walk up to the gate. You can take your pictures from there. You can ask me any questions you like. Some I may be able to answer, some I may not, Mr. TGA. So the main one at the minute yes. is when is construction expected to be completed? Expected on the 3rd of April. Wow, that's really soon. So that's what, and I've just checked on the DJI app. I took the drone over there and it just said that the flight restrictions now been put yeah. in place for the... Yeah, I think the last lads that came, Ryan, and it's just a camera, I think. And audit in Yorkshire? Yeah, I mm. think they got up but didn't get in. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure, because it was amber at the time. And now, and now it's it's, it's a red zone, yeah. All right. So if, if I was to take it up from here, I could. I could fly it from here, but as long as I don't fly over. Yeah. The drone won't allow me to fly land. over anyway. You can, you can send it up. You yes. can see what you can see. But obviously, you won't be able to get in any further no, around the boundary. So officially, now it is a red, it is a red zone. The CAA have put it through. Has that been... So I'm guessing the prison service has applied for, applied to the CAA and has put that so, in place. Yeah, because it's the CAA that put it all in place, isn't it? Yeah. So they'll have been, MOJ will have informed them. They'll have made the switch over to red no fly zone. Yeah, because normally it's the flight restriction. They normally already put it in about a week or two before the prison actually opens. So. I don't know about that. Yeah, sure. But as I said. Expected completion date is 3rd of April. I thought it was going to, honestly, I was thinking it was going to be the end of May, I was, but... Uh, it's lucky, it's, at the minute, if you look at it, it still looks like a yes, large construction does. site. But it's surprising how quickly these things can crop up, to be honest. It depends on how many they throw, how many men they throw at it over the course of the next fortnight, I believe. Well, it's been a massive job, really, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah 28 X site. Um, I believe it's supposed to house around 1,800 wow. inmates, so... I've seen some that have got more capacity, but that's quite a lot for the... Well, for considering we're in the middle of a residential area, it's a very large hidden site, not hidden, 28 yeah, acre site. It's historically all part of the old army barracks, you see. Really? So it would have been their training ground back in the 1940s, 1950s. Yeah, there used to be the old the old prison on this side. That was a young offenders centre. And then they knocked that one down, yes. and then they started building this one. It didn't have the greatest record. Well, the, the original the young offenders. Of, yeah, mm. and I'm not telling you anything that isn't available <laughs> with a little bit of research, Mr. TGA. I think, I think I've heard something about, yes, about the, uh, the old site. But yeah. I, I have done a little bit of digging. And I know when it I was... I expect nothing less. You you know where you, your knowledge is power, you know? Well, I've researched that place as well that's just by there, yeah. uh, Tiger's Place, and I found out that okay. is now owned by the Police and Crime Commissioner for Leicestershire. So... Yes. But you wouldn't know if you didn't, if you didn't go Absolutely. scouring through you, the council records. I think it's one of them um, hidden unofficial Shame. official type places you know what i mean i just asked there was a couple of people coming out they were asking me what i was up to and they just i was oh, like uh, well this is let's just replace it like uh, no comment they just yeah. try, <laughs> try straight yeah. in so can't say nothing <laughs> can't say nothing but it's pretty obvious big blue gates and things like no that comment. <laughs> no comment no comment because i don't know whether we're supposed to know what's in the area or not well, yeah, I suppose. Even though we get all sorts of delivery drivers going, excuse me, mate, do you know where this is? Do you know where this is? Don't go down there, you know? Um, so, yeah, if you want to walk up, you can film across the gate line, um, see what you can see from there. The only change from when they came is there's a few concrete blocks that have been missed. Up until then, it's all just plant, and uh, you want to send your drone up? I, I might, yeah, I might take my drone up. But like I say, you, I do it from there from because the, the army yeah. sometimes are in and out of here, so I don't want this bit blocking. Um, and you can take it as high as you like, but I don't think you'll get beyond the boundary. I've got my uh, got my tripod as well. I've got a 400 to 800 millimeter lens, okay. so I'll see if I can zoom in and see what. I yeah, can that's see that. fine. Um, obviously, you're going to have to set that up with relative well, safety, uh, and you can take. Numbers. Oh, pictures so up to the line okay all, all right. right thank you very much no worries. Thanks, Adam. there we go let's have a look so if you need anything else just give us a shout all right appreciate that adam thank you very much so we are glen parva project driver sight rolls so yeah must oh, that's a that's a that's a must really isn't it using mobile phones while driving 
No bail signage, traffic marshal, banksman at all times, no children, animals, other than the security team or police sniffer dogs. So it's not often you see something like this, so I thought I'd have a look for myself. Um, so yeah, if you want to see Auditing Yorkshire's perspective, that's available on YouTube. It's that car coming down here. So we're going to move out of the way. Um, I think if we want to set up the tripod as well, it's probably best to do that front pavement. Because there's traffic coming down here, it's busy as hell, this site is. So if I set up, I might set up behind the sign. And then um, we'll get some, some footage from there with the, uh, with the camera. So I'll pick this one back up. Other than the security team or police sniffer dogs. So it's not often you see something like this. So I thought I'd have a look for myself. Um, so yeah, if you want to see Auditing Yorkshire's perspective, that's available on YouTube. Is that car coming down here? So we're going to move out of the way. Um, I think if we want to set up the tripod as well, it's probably best to do that from the pavement. Because there's traffic coming down here. It's busy as hell, this site is. So, if I set up, I might set up behind the sign, and then um, we'll get some some footage from there with the uh, with the camera. So I'll pick this one back up. So are we still recording on this? 26 minutes. Thank you, Baba. So as always, if you can hear me, I'm gonna take it straight away up and back down. Just have a little look. Battery needs to change it. Yeah, no problem. I'm uh, I'll keep myself out of the way. Find How you doing boss? Yeah, good, thank you. Don't worry, my software won't allow me to fly over anyway. Oh yeah, this is um, sub 250 gram. It's got the operator ID there. It's uh... Yeah, the camera's just at the front there. When you buy a board of drone, the camera came with this? Yes. So what's the result? Good result? Oh yeah, so uh, this goes up to 4K on you, so you can uh, set that. On phone. So you can go there, look. And you can yeah. change the. You can go into the settings. Go in there. You can change. 4K. Camera settings. So you can change that. You're gonna buy one. Before yeah, you, I will do that. Do we need license to fly a drone? Uh, that's that's the license there, the operator ID. So that okay. needs to be registered with the Civil Aviation Authority. So without license, we can't fly. No, is it, so if. You, so with any drone that's got a camera, any drone that's got a camera on it, you need you need to have an operator ID. If if it's above 
250 gram, then you'll, you can't fly in certain areas or you'll need authorization to be able to do so. With this one, it can pretty much fly anywhere, apart from in red zones. And, uh, but as long, you need to have that registered on the drone. You forget how nippy they are until you see one going again. Oh yeah, I'm going to be careful because there's a bit of gust going around with this yeah. one, so I've got to be aware of that. And uh, but it's not, you need to have that registered on the drone. You forget how nippy they are until you see one going again. Oh yeah, I'm going to be careful because there's a bit of gust going around with this yeah. one, so I've got to be aware of that. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. So yeah, the authorization zone, it says on there, eh? So it's come up HMYY Glen Parva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's come up because now it's, it's, isn't it opening on the third? Yeah, yeah. So that's why. And what's the battery power? Oh, it lasts quite, it lasts about over half an hour, this battery does on this. I'm just going to lower it because the wind's picking up. And easy to get license? Yeah, it's just basically you answer a few questions. You do. Uh, you have to pay for the upper. You have to pay for your upper ID then, which I have to renew every year. Yeah, yeah. Wow, it's pretty good, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> What's the concern for that no zone area? You can see everything from here. <laughs> I don't know. You guys see everything from here. All vehicles must be reversed in reception. Just have a look at the work that's going on. Still quite a lot of work going on to be fair. I am surprised. Considering with the opening day, I am surprised how much work's going on. For this prison. And you are new to where as well? Yeah, the Gwent Auditor I am. Did you ever seen that cooperative people? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh I, we are cooperative here. <laughs> so with my friends, yeah, they, they were here not so long ago. It's coming back, yeah, bringing it back down, Adam. Landing. No problem, huh? See Yeah, because it, it, it's got an invisible boundary that won't let me go over. Right. So you're about two weeks too late. Yeah, just yeah, about. Yeah, sorry, mate. That's all right. It's because it's so close to the opening day, which I'm surprised because I looked from the drone, I could see there's still loads of construction work going on inside. It does surprise me. Quick question. Are your cameras still on? This one is, yeah. Right. Have you ever known a builder finish on time? Hmm. <laughs> Usually, no, so. Because typically, that typically is, well, from what I've seen with a lot of, well, mainly civil engineering projects, I've seen them, they've, they've dragged them out for a bit, so. At least a few extra weeks, a couple of months. 
So at this rate, I don't know whether it's going to be the May opening date is going to be originally said it's going to be back to. Well, it's, it's one of those, isn't it? Yes. It's one of those. <laughs> well, the work's still here, we'll keep coming. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of people on site. From I've seen lorries going back and forth on this road. Absolutely. But it looks it looks like a nice looks like a massive prison. The sign of it's quite nice as I well. I believe it's being centred towards rehabilitation so that people I believe there's gonna be like a mechanics workshop, computer suite. Mm. That's um, pretty good. Or to, to you know rehabilitate rather than punish. Rather than some of what I've seen where you see images from from the inside from the pa from the papers and the, there's rats everywhere, there's yeah. The conditions, the conditions I've stayed in worse hotel rooms than these cells, but I've been able to leave those hotel rooms whenever I like. <laughs> exactly. You know? But I think I think it's better if we go toward, more towards a prison system like some of the Scandinavian countries have got. Like that, they're more about rehabilitation. Absolutely. Nice because if, if you've never had the opportunity and you don't know any different, then you're not going to know any different and you're going to go to keep going down the same path, aren't you? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The prison system we've currently got people, people seem to go in as just perpetuates mm. itself because they, they, they're going in there with more hardened criminals than they yes so all they're doing is learning bad mm. bad habits and more skills that aren't the skills we necessarily want exactly. The exactly and then just being in the system which is wrong so people are going in it's that cycle of, it's part of the repeat, poverty yeah. trap isn't it it is and it's, it's sad but if, if this is if they're going to build more prisons like this and that could be a way forward. The rehabilitation aspect mm. is, is very important. Man. Absolutely. Thanks for talking nice to me. Nice to meet you, Mr. TGA. And you. May well see you soon. You never know. You. Take care of right there now. Didn't wait for the gate to close, did you? Didn't wait for the gate to close, did you? It's Tiger's place. Um, Nobody waits for the gates to close in this place. Just before we go. Answer this time, are they? <laughs> nope. That's the where they scan their passes. Nah. Nothing. Strange place, Tiger's place. They were rude. Right, so that's that's been Tiger's place. See you later, Tiger's place. DVSA site's busy. the uh, Animal and Plant Health Agency. Off we go.